Thank you very much indeed, uh, Mr Speaker. The Secretaries of State for Northern Ireland and Health have confirmed that the government will break the law by overriding the Northern Ireland Protocol. This would mean reneging on the withdrawal agreement, an agreement the Prime Minister himself negotiated, brought to this House, voted for, ratified and campaigned on at the general election. This reckless move reignites the prospect of us crashing out of the European Union with no deal. The Prime Minister promised the British people an oven-ready deal. It now looks like an oven-ready no deal. The Secretary of State himself has said previously that a no deal outcome would create damaging uncertainty for the country and that he would never vote for anything that threatened or undermined the integrity of our United Kingdom. So does he think that reneging on an international treaty, breaking their promise on a deal and putting no deal firmly back on the table strengthens or weakens the union? Secretary of State. Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate uh, the honourable gentleman and his partner on the birth of their baby daughter, Zola. And that's why he's currently on paternity leave. And, and turning to his question, uh, I would just say that we absolutely do want a deal. We're in serious negotiations again this week because we want to get a deal, and that is our intention. But the withdrawal agreement was written on the basis that subsequent agreements could be reached um, through the Joint Committee. And that Joint Committee process is ongoing, and we're, we're committed to it. But in the event that it can't uh, deal with any adverse implications for the Good Friday Agreement, it's important that we have a position that creates a safety net to uphold our commitments to the members of Northern Ireland.